He's out cold. Nothing keeping him up but sheer willpower. Like this video within five seconds or the spider is gonna crawl into your mouth while you're sleeping. I would not risk- Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug and I'm back on 2K, man. 2K is gonna have to ban me a hundred times before I go away because y'all show too much support. Drop a like on this video if you're glad that your boy Badge Plug is back in the 2K community, man. I'm finally back and I'm playing on the game. It feels so good, but check it out, man. I gotta show y'all this dude's build. It's crazy. He's got a 99 overall playmaking shot creator it was 98 but i got it to 99 but check it out y'all 79 driving layup 74 driving dunk not too bad right you guys know that i love builds that have contact dunks this one doesn't but it makes up for it with a 90 mid-range a 91 three-pointer 90 ball handling so i can speed boost right away and some not so bad defense it's not you know the greatest but it's not also terrible at the same time 95 speed 97 acceleration and check it out, y'all. This is the big one right here. We have 11 finishing badges. It usually has one if you're not legend. But this is the first time your boy Badge Plug has ever, ever got to use Hall of Fame shooting badges in 2K20. So this is the shooting badge setup that I'm using right now. I'm using Quick Draw on Gold because I'm so used to it on my other players. So I'm just going to keep it on there. But check out all the badges, bro. I got Hall of Fame Deadeye, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machine, Hot Start, y'all. I'm going to be nasty out here. We also have Hall of Fame playmaking badges at the same time. And we got 31 of them, y'all. So this is what I'm rocking right here if you guys want to copy that little setup. And then for defensive badges, we have 14. And this is what I'm also so rocking right here i don't use pick dodger anymore because i just feel like it doesn't work like i really do not feel like pick dodger even works at all as a badge i don't know you guys let me know in the comment section down below but anyway y'all comment down below one thing you want to see in nba 2k21 and let's get into this gameplay all right well you're probably not but you might be saying oh that build's not that nice blah 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 badge plug well today i've got the gameplay to show y'all now you all know if you're a loyal sub to the channel that i prefer a 99 speed 99 acceleration contact dunking type of build but I'm going to show y'all what your boy can do with Hall of Fame shooting badges. So you see, we got two elite ones. Offensive threat, 98 overall. Glass cleaning lockdown, 97 overall. So these dudes ain't no bums, right? They obviously, even if they are like not that good, they play the game quite a bit. So they know what they're doing. So y'all see the gameplay in today's videos from my boy Aramis's account playing with C-Boy on his glass cleaning lockdown. And in this video, you might be hearing me say I, but I'm just talking about the guy who's on this account. Not I, his name is IE like that, you know, IE, but I'm just going to say I, right? Because that's his name, you know, that's, that's what his name is, right? Anyway, I right here get the crab and I take it down for the layup right there. What I was trying to do was I was trying to get him into the crab animation to where he could not walk. And I kind of got him into it, but I kind of messed it up at the same time. But you see right here off the spin hesitation and that's green. I am pulling that all day y'all i got hall of fame shooting badges for the first time in nba 2k history besides on my midget player you know that it's over guys i've been showing you all year long on an 81 or 82 i forgot what my three-point rating was on my playmaking slasher but 81 82 three-point rating with gold hall of fame badges but now i got 91 three-point rating and i have hall of fame badges you know badge plug is about to be going crazy so you see i hit him with a spin snatch back momentum hop step backwards and that's a big green bro we're already cooking up on this account my boy ie going crazy but check this out slippery off ball catch and shoot and that's a big green y'all i told you slippery off ball that's two times in this game that i've used slippery off ball to score so that's two less possessions that maybe i would have got blocked i might have missed a shot i might have got a turnover so that's two possessions closer to winning so you see me right here going crazy hesitation and that's another big green so if you guys are not using hop step 21 i really recommend that you use hop step 21 because that will help you out in so many situations and hold on check out this ankle breaker right here in slow motion i told y'all ankle breaker is the best badge in nba 2k20 right now you see how many things i could have done right there i could have stopped and shot it i could have ran over and pulled up a midi i could have faded a mini but i decided to take my wide open dunk because i knew he was going to try and catch up and contest my shot because that was the most thing like that was the most probable thing that i was going to do was just sit there and shoot it so i had a free dunk and I'm going to take that every single time. It's all a mind game, y'all. It's all about doing things that you don't think your opponent is going to expect. So you see right here, I have no clue how I just lost the ball. But you guys know how 2K is, man. 19 to 0. I'm playing so good. I haven't missed a shot. And I just lose the ball for just like standing there. I have no clue how. But guess what? He pulls up 
off the hesitation, white, and it goes in. Very excruciatingly painful, man, when you have 19 points and you lose the ball, and then he hits a white, bro, a white on the first shot, but I get brick walled right there, and that's a big green. My teammate didn't pick up, and I'm like, all right, we gotta start picking up, we gotta start doing something, because if he makes another shot, his green machine's already on, but if he makes another shot, there's no way he's gonna miss. This man's an elite one. I know he knows what he's doing by the way he's playing right now, and we cannot afford for him to green another shot. So he passes it down. My guy jumped and tried to block with the left hand. I have no clue why. They need to fix that in the next year's 2K game. I don't know why when you go to contest in the paint, they jump with the wrong hand sometimes and try and block like, I don't even know. They like try and block sideways. You guys know what I'm talking about, but right there, good pickup. He whites it. He gets the ball back. We get a tip off the steal. Still do not get it. Eight to 19. He's trying to do something. And I say, nope, give me that ball pickpocket i know what you're gonna do see you y'all seen i adjusted i seen every single time when he was about to do that hesitation and as soon as he did it that time i reached and i got it perfectly i get the steal and right here i'm gonna dot it to my teammate and oh my gosh see boy hall of fame floor general hall of fame dimer and he air balls a three-pointer in the corner standing still with no one near him y'all that is tough so you see 19 to 8 i'm playing clamps i know how this man is playing that's how so many people play in this game it's straight hesitation screen hesitation screen that's on clamps okay we get the board catch and shoot and that is a big green nine for nine four for four my boy i was going crazy out here so into the next game what i was talking to you guys about with the slippery off ball is that if you have enough room for it use it but if you don't like if you don't have your green machine maxed out and quick draw and stuff then don't put that on but there's a lot of badges in this game that will really help you get two, three little baskets that you know your opponent is not going to expect. So what I'm talking about though, is you see 93 offensive threat, 74 glass lock. These dudes aren't that good, right? Probably, but I had to show you guys the elite one gameplay first because people say, oh, badge plug ain't playing comp. Wait, that wasn't even me. That was my boy IE. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know even know what I'm talking about. But anyway, what I was saying is, and slippery off ball is probably one of the best examples in this game is doing an off ball move like dexing, like in 2K17, 2K18, where you did that really glitchy off ball is trash this year. It's very slow. But if you put on slippery off ball, you can really catch people off guard because people think, you know, oh, no one's going to do that because it doesn't work. So you see right there, man, that was a totally planned play by IE right there. And I got the big dunk. But you guys, you see what I'm talking about. Like no one expects you to do a slippery off ball. Literally no one. So when you have it on and you just throw it out there randomly, how are they supposed to know that you were going to do that? So right here, check this out. I'm literally showing you that the mechanics of 2K20 are pretty broken. All I had to do was do a few moves and I basically ran through my opponent. I didn't go beside him. I didn't do it behind the back. I just ran through his body using the dribble moves that I knew would put me in like a crab sort of animation. So four to zero, I've already done some pretty funny stuff, but check this out, bro. Check the moves out. Hall of Fame range extender. I hit him with the normal cross behind the back, backwards towards the three point line, broke his ankles and look, slippery off ball. But anyway, y'all seen what I did right there, bro. Range extender on Hall of Fame is crazy. Like I learned that yesterday, range extender Hall of Fame versus gold is a big, big difference. So you see, I don't even know if dude's not playing anymore, but I'm just still cooking his boy. Like I don't even need to pass it to my teammate because I got him. You know what I'm saying? I got Hall of Fame volume shooter. I got range extender, all these badges. And I'm telling you right now, shooting badges Hall of Fame is much different than gold badges Hall of Fame, but you still do not need them. You see right there, man, I told you, you gotta do different stuff. I hit him with a half spin two little normal crossovers back towards the three-point line hesitation and then i greened it right in his face with the hall of fame dead eye so now that your boy badge plug is back on nba 2k20 man drop a like on this video but you see i hit him with the crosses and then the behind the back the moving behind the back not the explosive behind the back that was patched but the moving one and then back towards the three-point line hesitation and that's a green but yeah guys drop a like you see that was a 30 percent excellent green if you go back and you know go in slow motion you'll be able to see hold on double momentum crossover then i fade away and green it but you'll be able to see that was a lightly contested shot that was a yellow bar under my my guy's player and i still greened it bro hall of fame badges are pretty op i'm not gonna lie to you plus with the high rating now you see right here, they're double teaming me. I hit him with the same move, but then I hop back the other way and I fade away from three. I miss, my boy gets the board, I'm pulling up and that's a big green. So you guys see, man, 
you got to switch it up and it throws people off guard because they're not going to expect it. But anyway, y'all, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Drop a like if you haven't yet. Make sure to comment down below one thing you think NBA 2K21 should have or multiple things or something they should take out from 2K20. And I'm out. Peace. And also, drink a gallon of water, go to the gym, do all those good things, man.